everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing first ever book tour and I'm going to be showing you all the books that I have on my bookshelves, how I have them organized, and just kind of give you a little show of the setup that I currently have. I don't really have a lot of books compared to most people probably, but you know, you got to start somewhere. So I'm excited to show you what I currently have. And yeah, if you have any recommendations or if you've read any of the books that I have, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what your favorite books are, must haves for your bookshelf. So without further ado, let's get into the bookshelf tour. So first thing I wanted to show you guys was kind of the setup that I have for reading. So I have this Chase Lounge that I got from Home Goods. And then we have a heating blanket, which if you guys don't like to cuddle when you're reading, then ignore everything I'm saying. But if you do, you need a heating blanket. They're amazing. You can get them at Target or Amazon and they make the best gifts as well. But you definitely need that. Um, I'm dog sitting right now, so I have a little dog under there. <laughs> and then the bookshelves are all from Ikea. I have another one that I will be setting up shortly because this one is pretty much full um but i did paint them so they were black and i had them painted this really really pretty baby pink you can barely tell they almost look white they're really nice and then um the twinkle lights i got from amazon they have like different functionalities they can like twinkle and fade out and do a bunch of stuff and then this little setup is all from home goods as well so let's get into the bookshelf how i have everything organized so pretty much everything is by genre um i like i said i don't really have too much here right now but you know you got to start somewhere so all right first up we have romances and kind of like historical fictions as well classics but pretty much romance so starting from the left we have all of my nicholas sparks novels i haven't read all of them um i've read like the best of me safe haven um the notebook obviously i don't actually don't have that one here but um some of these i haven't read yet but i've seen the movies and they're just they're good to have they're, they're a classic if you like romance you know you like nicholas sparks um and then i have bridgerton i have julia quinn's um Bridgerton series. I've lent some of them out so I don't have all eight of them, but they are really good. If you are into the Netflix show, I think you'll really enjoy these. They are kind of different from the Netflix show, but I think you also really like them. There is a good amount of plot and spice and the characters I think are really fun. I absolutely love When He Was Wicked. This is probably my favorite Bridgerton novel next to The Viscount Who Loved Me. And I cannot wait for this um, season to come out. Hopefully they'll make one for Francesca, but it's really good. And then we have all of my Jane Austen novels here. Absolutely love her. I have to have multiple copies because they're just the best books ever. <laughs> And I actually just finished reading Persuasion and the book or the movie comes out tomorrow as I'm filming this, which is the 14th. The Netflix adaptation comes out July 15th and I'm so excited. If you guys haven't read Jane Austen novels, you can totally read this one very quickly. It's small and it's really good. Actually, Captain Wentworth, if you guys like a good hero in a book, he is it. He's amazing. He rivals Mr. Darcy, honestly, like just phenomenal. Yeah, have to read it. Also a fun fact about these is they are free to listen on Audible for the most part. So if you have a hard time reading classic novels, you can find them for the most part on Audible for free. And it's really easy um, and helpful to like read along with the narrator. Just a quick tip if you're interested. Underneath that we have all of my like fantasy romance books and starting from the left first How cute is this Harry Potter? Scentsy candle warmer. It is so cute and I have the Slytherin Scent on right now. It just smells amazing. I Love having it lit. It's just so pretty. Okay. Anyway, so I have the from blood and ash series so we have all four of these books honestly they're okay the first two are the best in my opinion 
the last two just and my they just were you read them because you want to finish a series but if you've read them tell me what you think it, there's a lot of mixed reviews on this series and her writing in general i don't know kind of controversial but yeah not everyone liked her but the first two were really good i really like the guy in the first two books i feel like the characters kind of go downhill from there and it just kind of they the books didn't need to be this long there's a lot of pages in each of these and also why would you make the fourth book shorter can anyone tell me why do publishers do this it's so frustrating <laughs> then we have for the wolf and for the throne i actually just finished these um last week and they were a very fun dark fantasy series there is a little bit of romance in here as well so that's why they're in this shelf and obviously have um, the Akatar series, Sarah J Mass. These are the only ones I actually really liked enough to purchase. Throne of Glass was okay, but they weren't my favorite and I couldn't get into Crescent City at all. I know a lot of people like that series. I personally was not a fan, so sorry, not sorry, but this is probably one of my favorite books of all time and i cannot wait to reread this and watch the hulu adaptation hopefully it'll do it justice we have more romance obviously because i love love and i also love jojo moyes so i have a ton of her books um over here are just some like standalones i have like christmas poems love poems i have this historical romance that i just got and i haven't read it yet but kerrigan burn if you like historical romance you will really like her she is just it's a fun quick read her books are short um but you'll like them and then obviously john green and then all of jojo moyes i have almost all of her books they're amazing if you liked me before you you've probably seen the movie you will love her books. They're amazing. They are so heartfelt. You will probably cry in each of them. And then Crazy Rich Asians, another great series. Not a lot of people like the writing because there's a lot of, um, I guess like text messages, emails, and the setup of the writing is kind of different, but I thought it was really fun and very unrealistic. But again, if you liked the movie Crazy Rich Asians, check it out let me know what you think they're gonna be making a sequel and i think it's worth reading and also the cover is really cool then we have some more fantasies so these should be going in the shelf above but they don't fit um a touch of darkness i have all of scarlet saint Clair's or some of her books these were fun um honestly i didn't necessarily have to buy them but i did and you know they're cute they were good they were a good time they're fun haven't read this what this one yet but i plan to this one obviously hunger game series i keep lending out books to people does anyone else do that and then you lose them never get them back so now i have this poor old second book just by itself and now i have to rebuy the series also got this one for my birthday it is the witcher first book in the witcher called the last wish so we'll plan on reading this um haven't really been into just straight fantasy since like Lord of the Rings, um, which is coming up next, but everyone says it's pretty good and obviously like the show is really cool, so yeah. Then we have A Song of Achilles, Lord of the Rings, uh, Game of Thrones. I read all of these in high school, so they're nicely worn. Thank you to my backpack. And um, The Atlas Six. Really excited for the next one or the sequel of this one. Love her writing. And then on the second shelf, we have a ton of mystery, thriller, suspense novels. All of these are standalones. Actually, all of them are. I did do Book of the Month for a while, so I was getting a ton of these and I really loved them. If you like mystery kind of suspense novels, check out Book of the Month. You're gonna be really surprised by the authors that they pick. They're different, you've probably never heard of them, but you know, I, Alex Michaelides, he wrote The Silent Patient, which is probably one of my all time favorite like suspense thriller books. So very, very good. And yeah, definitely check out Book of the Month. This isn't sponsored obviously, but it's pretty cool. It's how I really got into mystery novels. Then we have Lisa Jewell, Then She Was Gone, which is a really fun, fun book 
keeps you on your toes. The Girl on the Train is a classic. Lucy Foley, just read her books. I have the Paris apartment in my room that I'll be starting today. Um, this one wasn't really a fan of, but I really liked the guest list, so I had to get the rest of her books that had come out recently. This was a phenomenal book. If you like multiple points of view, you will like her as an author. If you don't, probably don't read her because there's like three to five points of view in every book of hers. And then we have a few that I haven't read yet. I picked these actually up at a thrift store by my house and they were like a dollar each and they're per like in perfect condition. So I'm really excited to get into these in the fall. The Wife Between Us, I finished last month and it was pretty good. I think I gave it like three or four stars. Wasn't amazing. The ending was kind of weird, but a good weird, I guess. So you can check it out and read it if you want to. Again, wasn't like my all time fave, but I won't not recommend it if that makes sense. And then obviously we have um, the Woman in the Window, which was a movie. Don't watch the movie, the movie sucks. Behind Closed Doors was really good. Again, these are all mysteries and thrillers. If you don't like that genre, go ahead and skip it. But if you do, like, these are all really good recommendations, I think. And then obviously Gone Girl is a classic. You have to read this one. Um, super creepy and dark, but a good time. You'll read it very quickly. This is probably my favorite shelf <laughs> and it has the least amount of books, technically. Um, here we have this really cool candle that I found on Etsy and it's called Smells Like Books on Etsy. You can check it out, but she has tons of book um, candles from like Akatar and a bunch of other really popular fantasy romance books. And then these are really old like Shakespeare novels that my mom found at a thrift store. They're beautiful. This is The Merchant of Venice. Um, and then these are all in French. So not actually sure what these are, but just so pretty right anyway then we have this cute little typewriter and um this is from the wizarding world of harry potter i don't know kind of cute pen and ink maybe i'll try doing it sometime agatha christie is probably my favorite mystery author of all time if you have any interest in checking out that genre start with her books they're amazing they're classics you have to read them um a murder is announced is really fun the Murder of Roger Ackroyd, um, Murder on the Ori Orient Express. These are a bunch of short stories. And then, and then there were none. You have to read that one. It's so good. Here's another favorite shelf of mine. We have all the classics. Um, I do have more here that I've read um, that I just don't have personally, but I plan on, you know, expanding this collection. So we have all of Shakespeare's works here, Moby Dick. Uh, the Count of Monte Cristo is probably one of the best books. It, again, it kind of like a mystery, I guess, but also like vigilante. If you like Arrow or Dexter, that kind of thing, I think you'll like him. He's really cool. Uh, then you have Frankenstein and Dracula. Again, amazing books. Everyone should read these. They're just so, so good. And again, these are like the original mystery, thriller, horror books ever so you should definitely check them out um oscar wilde is probably one of my favorite authors ever he's amazing his writing is fantastic i absolutely love his plays but the picture of dorian gray is a phenomenal book as well and you should definitely check it out more shakespeare books um just from you know college um bleak house um if you guys have read this and you remember that scene where the man spontaneously combusts like that was wild and yeah i will always keep this book because of that next we have jane eyre another classic the outsiders everyone has read this in middle school at some point i would be surprised if you haven't the scarlet letter another classic some random books from college that I probably will never pick up again, but I have them. This one actually was pretty good. And then finally, we have just some standalone books, either nonfiction or just random literary fiction books that I have that were pretty good. Um, just some business books, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Everyone should read that. Um, some random standalone like self-love fiction books. 
The Dinner List, if you guys like literary fiction, this one is phenomenal. It will make you cry. It's so good. She's a great author. You should definitely check her out. They're very easy reads. They're not very um, big at all. And you will love this. This one actually, if you could only have dinner with five people, either dead or alive, who would they be? That's essentially what this book is about. It is so good. You'll have a great time reading that one. Paris Library, I just finished reading recently as well and it pulled at my heartstrings and made me cry almost every chapter. Loved it. Where the Crawdads Sing, I actually haven't read this one yet. I know everyone has and the movie comes out again July 15th so I'll probably have to read this before I watch it. This one is um, JK Rowling's like other pen name I guess for her books. This one was pretty good. I haven't read any of the other ones. Not sure if I want to. Let me know if you think those other books are good or not. And finally, All the Light We Cannot See I have as well. This is a great, great book. Again, it's amazing. It's one of those books that will just pull at your heartstrings. It's kind of like a historical fiction. Great book. Everyone should read this one. So that's pretty much all the books I have. Uh, obviously I have a ton of books on my Kindle Unlimited and I've gone to the library a ton. So I don't really have a lot of books. Again, I just wanna keep ones that I would either reread or was really inspired by them or loved the covers because that makes a difference as well. So yep, that is all the books I have on my bookshelf so far and I hope to be getting many more very soon. But that is gonna be it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you have anything similar, if you have any thoughts on any of the books that I have, um, or if you have recommendations, what should I add to my current collection? Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.